by Deaconess Mary Jones, followed by prayer by Reverend Boone. Amen. Glory, glory. Thank you. 
against it, you'll know the great fall of our offering. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. My God, the spirit is high here this morning. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Welcome to BAM TTC, where the word of God is preached. The love of God is on display, and the name of Jesus is glorified. Amen? Amen. And before we move forward in the service, if there is any visitors that would like to have something to say, or everybody's at home, amen. 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 Nicole, you want to have something to say? Our announcements. Our order of service is 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th Sundays at 11 a.m. 5th Sunday is Family and Friends Day. Our Bible study is each Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Our joy night is every first Friday night at 7 p.m. We will observe Council Awareness Month on third Sunday, October the 15th. And we are asking everyone to wear pink or a pink ribbon. On fourth Sunday, October the 22nd, we will be celebrating our pastor's 27th anniversary at 11 a.m. 27 years. Mm. In way of giving, oh, our speaker will be none other than Reverend Claude Carr. And the way of giving a uh, cash app is dollar sign B A M T T C 2020. That's dollar sign B A M T T C 2020. Or you can mail it to P.O. Box 1557, Tarboro, North Carolina 27886. Or you can just come to Born Again Ministry on 4779 NC Highway. 33 NC Tarver, North Carolina. At this time, we will have our October birthdays recognized. And if there is anyone other after I say these birthdays, if there is anyone else that would like to announce their anniversary, whatever kind of anniversary it is, or you want to acknowledge someone that you know or you love that has a birthday for the month of October. Amen. Our very own Mother Linda Black, October the 8th. Miss Felicia Harper, who I've taken from her mother, October the 23rd. Jarell Jones, October 25th. Mason Howe, October the 28th. Thank you. 
My son, Michael Thomas' birthday is October the 7th. My sister, LaFaris, what's her last name? Well, Pittman McNeil, her birthday is October the 28th. And on the 17th of this month, it would be actually 13 years that I've been a member of BAM!
Thank you. Praise you for this day. For this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, God. Lord, enable us to be back in the house of prayer one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we love you. We need yes. you. Yes, Jesus. We thank you right now, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless these ties and offer, Lord. Lord. We ask you to bless the Lord and let it be for the upbuilding of thy kingdom. Yes, Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And it's blessed, and it's stretched, and it's stretched, and it's blessed. Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, everyone, for your liver given on this morning. Now we get ready. Everybody say, we get ready for the good part. What we came for. Which is the word of God. Amen. Amen. The choir is getting ready to give us a song of their choice. And after that, we will hear none other than our very own. Say our very own. Our very own. Say our very own. Our very own. Our very own. Our very own.
said, God, the son of faith, trust, and never doubt in their hand. Hallelujah. I just thank God for that song. God knows just what you need at hand. Hallelujah. Because it's been a long, 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 long time since I preached. I told Ken, I saw a little nervous, but I thank God for speaking to me today for that song. He said, trust, and never doubt in their hand. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to my pastor, Pastor Kenneth Aldron, who's been by my side for 38 years, amen. Hallelujah. I give honor to all the ministers in the building. I give all honor to all the deacons, all the deaconess, all the saints, friends, and family. Amen. Truly, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord just one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to go to the Word of God on today. We're going to be reading from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 18. All right. That's Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 18. Yes, sir. And as you're looking for the Word, amen, I'm going to pray. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you right now as humble as I know how, Lord. I ask you just to move self out of the way, Lord God, and you just speak to me through me on today, Lord. And you just have your way in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And forgive me for all my sins and shortcomings and every, anything that will hinder this word on today. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Luke 17, 11 through 18. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed, passed through, the, through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. Well. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Uh -huh. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. Well, and it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Right. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice well, glorified God. Come on. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. Right. And he was a Samaritan. Right. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where? Father now. Right. They are not found that return to give glory to God. Save this stranger. Right. And may be seated. Right. Amen. Amen. Glory. Glory. Right. I remember my son Sean telling me this story a while back. He said, I was always taught to hold the door open for a woman. But I was always taught to be courteous and hold the door open for people when they are walking behind me. Come on. I tend to always look behind me to see if there is anyone coming behind me so that I can hold the door open for them. If they are close enough, no matter who it is, I will hold that door open. All right. And then he said, one morning, I was walking to the gym. And like I said, I looked behind me to see if anybody was coming behind me. Uh -huh. And it just so happened that there was actually someone coming. Uh -huh. But they were quite a ways back from where I was standing. Mm -hmm. But yet, I held that door open until she got there. Uh -huh. I was being extra nice that morning. Uh -huh. I held that door open for this woman. And when she got up to the door and she walked through that door, with me still standing there holding the door for her. Um, she walked in, and um, he, he, I, she walked in, and I was still holding the door. And he said, now let me tell you what this woman did. She had the audacity to not even look at me, not to even say thank you, not even to say have a nice day, right. not even to say you're so kind, right. not even to say uh, you're absolutely wonderful and amazing. Right. She just said nothing. All right. She did, she, she, he said, she didn't say not a thing. All right. Sean said, I was so sharp at, at, at that point, and I said to myself, oh, 
So you ain't going to say nothing, huh, later. <laughs> Immediately he said he was convicted because this is just like us as Christians. A lot of times when God blesses us and we don't tell the Lord thank you. I believe that God been saying in essence to us, what about the times I do things for you and you don't even look my way to say thank you. You don't even tell me, Lord, you are so kind. You are so wonderful. You are so powerful. You are so almighty. Um, and I just want to praise you because you are truly an awesome God. But instead, some of us say absolutely nothing. When the truth of the matter is, you ought to be giving me praise in all things. All right. And the title of my message is Giving God Praise in All Things. All right. So as we look at our text on today, we see Jesus is traveling to Jerusalem uh -huh. and passes through Samaria and Galilee. Well, he travels through these two places that are considered places of rejection. Uh -huh. Jesus is passing through these two places that most people consider reject towns. Uh -huh. One thing about Jesus, he didn't see people as rejects. Right. He didn't see no big eyes and no little eyes. Uh -huh. He didn't see no in-between eyes. Uh -huh. People were people, no matter what color, size, shape, or form that they were in. No matter if they were a family member, uh -huh. they were still people to him. Uh -huh. All right. As a matter of fact, these two towns, Galilee and Samaria, were mentioned when Jesus met the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well. Wow. He was going to Galilee, but needed to go through Samaria. Uh -huh. Because just like the lepers of this passage, mm -hmm. the Samaritan woman at the well needed Jesus' special attention. Come on. Uh -huh. She too could have been considered a reject by society. Uh -huh. But she certainly would not be considered a reject by Jesus. All right. He makes it his business to go to those who have been forgotten uh -huh. and push to the side. He made it his business to go through these areas and while he was there, he goes to a place that is unnamed. All right. It is, a, it is an unnamed place. Uh -huh. The Bible calls it a certain village. Word uh -huh. And there he came across ten I said ten men wow. who the Bible says were lepers, All right. which okay. means they had a feared and dreaded disease yeah. called leprosy. Uh -huh. And in the in the Bible, leprosy was a chronic, infectious, horrendous disease, All right. which mainly caused skin lesions and nerve damage to various affected parts of the body, uh -huh. such as your eyes, your nose, your skin. There are our legs, their feet, and even their hind parts, y'all. All right. <laughs> and, and I'm pretty sure those, those men, you know, even with those sores on them, they had to be wrapped in bandages. All right. uh, I'm pretty sure pus or that, uh, you know, was oozing from those bandages. Oh, yeah. Their teeth, some of them teeth were, had fallen out. Uh -huh. You know, they, they were just, you know, horrendous to look at. Uh -huh. And it was just a bad disease to have, amen? All right. But scientifically speaking, this leprosy is caused by infection with the bacteria, mycobacterium leprae. All right. <laughs> In other words, it's a germ that was highly contagious. All right. Leprosy was very common in Jesus' day. And people who had this disease were thought to be dirty, nasty, and unclean. Work it out, man. They were required to stay away from people because of the fear of them infecting somebody else. All right. So these ten lepers had cooked themselves together. Mm -hmm. They couldn't go around the crowd, mm -hmm. so they had to live among themselves. Right. They had to live on the outskirts of town. Right. They couldn't even come into town. Right. And I don't even know how they got their food. They probably got their food by like people throwing stuff out to them as if they were hogs or dogs or something All like right. that. Because you couldn't come near to them and hand them a plate. So I'm pretty sure they had to throw it to them in order for them to get their food. Work it out now. And they couldn't go around the family members. They couldn't do like us, call somebody on the cell phone when we were quarantined. All right. They had no friends. They had nobody but each other. All right. They couldn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. They were 10 men living in doom and despair, right. and misery was hanging in on them. Right. They had to stay on the outskirts, amen. All right. And if anyone 
came near them, they had to cry out in these words, unclean, unclean, unclean. So they had to tell the people that they were unclean. Imagine you having COVID or you having some kind of uh, disease and people come to you and you got to say, I'm unclean, don't come near me, All don't right. come near me, don't touch me All because right. I might infect you. Imagine what they went through on the outskirts of town. Come on, okay. But something special, say something special, <laughs> happened to them that day. The Bible says that Jesus was passing through this city and the lepers were minding their own business. Uh, they were doing their own thing, just hanging out among themselves. Well, Verse 12 said that they stood afar off from Jesus uh, and the lepers called unto him. They said, Jesus, come on. Master, well, have mercy on us. Work it out, man. They said in essence, please give us healing for our infirmity. Come on. Give us compassion in our misery. Well, Give us compassion in our doom and despair. Well, I can imagine they were saying, give us some relief from our pain. Give us some relief from our suffering. Right. I believe in my mind that they could have been saying, Lord, we recognize that you are the master of heaven and earth. Well, we recognize that you are in charge of my life yes. and that you are in charge of every situation yes. that's in my life right. and I realize and I recognize right. that you can do what no man, woman, boy, girl, doctor can do. Right. And Jesus, you can do what no other power can do right. on the earth. Right. You are Jesus the Christ. Yes. You are Jesus the anointed one. Right. Were there not ten cleansed? Well, 
but where are the names? Oh, yeah. Found in verse 18 says, Jesus says, they are not found that return to give God glory, save or accept this stranger, this one. That's right. See, some of us have a problem with giving God praise. Right. Some of us want to give God praise in a small, quiet voice. All right. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But I believe that you ought to be able to give God some praise in a loud voice. Yeah. Hallelujah. But sometimes there comes a time in our lives when we can't be cute, we can't be pretty, we can't be handsome, and we show up can't be quiet. We have to open up our mouths, hallelujah, and throw our heads back, hallelujah, and cry out to God.
we were happy. We were happy. And I say happy and excited for everybody else. That's what we have blessed. And still giving God the praise for all time. Hallelujah. Woo! That's why we preach to y'all on Sundays. How can you teach y'all on Tuesday night? Hallelujah. That you need to come to church. You need to bring your kids.
right down the road, what was it, 102 Nelson Circle, then it became 52 Nelson Circle, so we had a ride, didn't y'all? So we lost, we had a ride, hallelujah, we raised our children in that marble home, and then when all the children got ready, before they left, you know how the side in the house beat the, the side like the house, the A-frame, and then you got the wood around the, the, the roof and stuff? So, the birds decided to come stay with us because some of her children had moved out. So, so the birds, when I was sitting in the room, the birds would be like, So I had to say, leave, leave, get out of there, get out of there. But we had, we were still, we were in this church. We were in this church, but we were still coming to church, giving God the praise. Thank you. 